Illinois for 2023. I think it's called the Safe T Act. Not safety, but safe and then T separate act. Um, I did minimal homework on it. I admit what I learned about it is that it's supposedly um, a new law that basically allows people to be released without bail, even for crimes such as murder. Y'all in the comments, keep me honest. I did minimal homework on it. And I think that the terms of it just has to be that A, as long as you're not a flight risk or B, if you're not still a threat to society or to people. So an example of that, even if you got charged with murder or booked with murder is like, let's say um, you wilded out and um, you know you, you murdered you murdered your wife or you murdered your husband. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 can get released without bail, and um, the assumption is you're not a threat to anybody else because you had a specific target on your wife or your husband because maybe you caught them cheating or you walked in or whatever, right? A, a, a situation like that. I'm not saying I would ever agree with that. That that doesn't make one thousand percent sense to me, but um. Take a step back for a second. I'm pretty sure most of y'all know what The Purge is. For those that haven't seen those movies, what The Purge is is supposedly a concept where um, the country does a self-cleanse of itself by allowing all felonies, all laws to basically be, just be put down and ignored for one day or for one evening or for like a 12-hour period or something like that. Even crimes punishable like murder, you know what I mean, is basically ignored. And it's supposed to be a self cleanse for like this this short period. It's like a night or something like that. So in the movies, you got people that you know they're trying to kill their neighbors or just kill people and whatnot. And it's just wild. It's just wild. It's it's, it's a wild concept. But um, I don't see why this new act would be, you know, put put up against the purge as far as a parallel. It's two totally different things, unless the thought of calling it the purge is like, all right, you're letting some of these possible guilty people that a murder is on the street for a time period while they're awaiting trial or something like that. So in essence, you're you're putting people that are very, very dangerous, dangerous out there instead of holding them for bail. But let's take a step back again. When you talk about even that, 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 that position of you're not dangerous anymore because your crime was focused to somebody. I just think that that's common sense to say that that makes no sense. That's common sense, right? Let's take American law. Let's, we live here in America, for example. Most people that's watching this, I know my I know my demographics and you know my stats at this channel. It's mostly America, okay? That watches the RBE channel. Those are our laws. Those are our norms. That's what we follow. That's what we're born into. That's what we come up off under. That's what we. That's how we live our lives. We know that murder is punishable by law, okay, within America, period, period. We're, we're kind of trained and brought up to be taught that murder is wrong. God forbid you're being taught that murder is not wrong, all right? Murder is wrong. So if you come up under the teachings, under the environment, under the law, under the, the practice, under the beliefs that murder is wrong, then you might just also believe that it takes an extreme person or a very extreme circumstance to even want to commit murder. So let's remove the extreme circumstance, right? I don't want to try to speak on the person that says, um, you know, this person did something to my son or my daughter, you know, like on some a time to kill Samuel L. Jackson shit. I want to take that piece of it out, right? Let me just talk about a person that has extreme measures that just believes that murder is a way of solving a problem. Murder is a way of ending a conflict. Murder is a way of ending an argument. Murder is a means to justify the fact that you and I don't get along or we bumped into each other or you owe me a hundred dollars, right? Let's talk about that side. Somebody that can commit murder over those type of circumstances, even if it was an isolated incident, supposedly to like, let's say your wife or your husband, you still have to have that capacity within you, which already makes you dangerous, meaning that you could have that capacity to do it again. So maybe that's why people would associate this type of new law that might be getting passed in Illinois, like with the purge, maybe that's why. But um, 
I can understand that. I could understand why people would say, nah, uh, we don't agree with that. Don't, don't put that here where I live. You know what I'm saying? Because just because you think it's an isolated incident, you still have to realize that the person has that capacity. That's how that person decided to solve a conflict or a problem. It doesn't mean that he won't feel like he can perform that within another isolated incident or scenario with a different person. Okay, there's my brother this time. So it's isolated. No, that's how you're handling fucking problems. You know what I'm saying? With murder. So um, without doing a, a, an extreme amount of homework on it, just hearing, you know, that that foundation of it, it is a little scary to hear. It doesn't sound like it's a good thing at all. Um, I don't know the logic behind it. If they think that it's helping people that, you know, can't afford bail or something like that. That might be that might be sitting down innocent or not not outside, you know, still going about life until their trial comes around because they can't afford to make bail or there's nobody around them that can help them make bail or whatever. I understand that logic. There's a lot of people in that fucked up and unfortunate situation. But um I don't know if that automatically means that you just allow all those type of charges to just be set free without bond or without bail or damn near automatically for what I read. Just like you come in, you get processed, boom, 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 boom. As long as you meet this criteria of not being a flight risk or us deeming it an isolated incident, you're out. We'll see you at trial. That sounds a little, a little bit too much.